Hey everybody, welcome to NAM 2014. Can you believe it's 2014? But here we are at our booth in Anaheim, and I'm very proud to show you what we've done this year. There's a lot of neat goodies inside, so why don't you come with me for a quick little tour and a little ride around the booth so we can see what's new. Thank you. Come on in. First thing that I'm excited about is the fact that we've got all these exotic woods here and they're displayed six different species and they're five drum kits deep. Now what I mean by that is I've made 30 drum kits available for sale here at the, at the show and the sales guys have got a little competition so they're going, no I sold that one, they're kind of arm wrestling over it. It's healthy, good competition, got all kinds of different variations. That's a, one of my favorites right there. What do you think? This is like an ebony stain where they scuff it afterward and all those little bubbles pop out. It doesn't get much prettier than that. Let's move over here. This kit, now it might just seem like a maple kit and that's what it is, but it's in the HVX. It's the HVX is the performance series. We've never had just straight maple because it's so hard to match up the tones of maple, but we found a way to do this. This is the only kit that we're making into actual kit kits. They're not just components. It's got the quarter size turret lug, you know, and everyone likes natural maple. So I think we're going to do quite well with this. You tell me what you think. If we can weave our way over here, this is the design series, which has taken off and is doing great. I'm really excited about the fact that, you know, this mini lug has got a uh, receiver nut in it. That's the whole idea of that mini turret. We got the quarter size turret, and of course with the collector series, that's the, the full size turret lug, which is our heritage for our company. So this is the design series. These, these drums are made a little bit different. It's called HVLT, it's a horizontal outer, and it's the VLT core, which, and these plies, by the way, are 132nd of an inch thick, not 136th, like most of the collector's series stuff. So, what you get with that is you get that luscious maple sound, but loads of headroom to play into them. They're very delicate and very responsive on the low end, but man, when you play into them, and I encourage you to play these drums with passion and velocity and, and they will stay with you all the way through all of your styles of playing. And a, what a great price too. Consult your local dealer but they're giving up some beautiful deals on these drums. And one other thing I want to point out here is that we've got an iPad holder that of course it's got a video about this kit in it and it's playing right now at the booth. But the iPad holder is a very cool thing. Don Lombardi is actually taken this thing and he's going to do great things with it. It it's goes on a stand so you can put your set list on there, you can have your music score on it, you can do all kinds of stuff or if you're just a lazy drummer you can watch TV while the rest of the band is working out. Anyway, it's a cool thing. Check out that video on this kit. I think it's on our YouTube channel. Now, let's talk about the iPad holder. We have a video with Peter Erskine who is the poster man for this new kit. We call this the Frequent Flyer. It's in the design series. And if you'll notice, it's got this white onyx finish. The white onyx finish is something that's so classy and it's just a blast from the past that I really truly love. These drums are very responsive. All right, now I want to bring you over here. Okay, maybe it's a little over the top, but it's a NAM show, why not, right? This is rainbow wood, which is of the poplar family. It's a tulip tree. But I did it in a vertical motif with a candy black fade. You got your black nickel hardware, which makes everything nicer. And we did black nickel stands. And Peisty was kind enough to actually plate some symbols in the black nickel as well. Look how pretty that kit is. It's a real nice centerpiece. Over here. We've expanded some of the snare line. We have a concrete 7x13. If you're really looking for a second snare, or even a, a, a first snare, this one 
I'm, I guarantee you, your, your lead singer is going to be mad at you when you play this drum. If that's your goal, this is the drum for you, because it is loud and it'll take your head off. So if you're in an unmiked situation or you really want to make a statement with a snare, this is a great second snare, in my opinion, to play on your left side. So that's the concrete 7 by 13. We've got, you know, the, the super solids as we've always had for years now. We have uh, a newer solid snare drum that's like they, it's steam bent as a traditional solid snare in the collector series. That's new for us this year. And we've got this one right here, which I think you're going to really, really love. This is a six and a half by 15 mahogany with a gum center and there's no reinforcing hoops so it's a thinner shell but what it does will astound you it's 15 inches so it's one of those bam slam the front door kind of heavy backbeat deals i got sean pelton one of these for saturday night live he loves it so you can do a lot of cool accents with this drum or if you just need something that sounds like it's already running through a big pa system this guy is for you also, Don Lombardi really has been passionate about the, 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 the snare drum of the past that kind of went away of the Dynasonic type of drum. This is what we're calling True Sonic. It's got that same bridge mechanism, but we've modified it to a degree to, to make it more DW-esque. And it's, this drum is great for orchestral. And by the way, a lot of hit records are made with snare drums just like this. So you got to check that out. This is all new this year. We've got a wood hoop snare with a with a plied a maple uh, body, and it's got claw hooks on it. Kirky B loves this drum. He says it's got a thing, you know. And how those guys that record, they're always looking for in their box of tricks for something that's new. Well, this guy right here goes splat. So a lot of producers for certain songs will love you for this snare. You probably will recognize what this is. This is Dave Grohl's actual drum set that he's played on a lot of tours. Dave Grohl is such an enigma. He is so big these days. And what a nice guy, very kind gentleman. He's the busiest guy in showbiz. And he lent this kit back to us to use for the NAMM show. I think that's a very cool gesture. I'm saving this to the very end, and I want you to check out what we got here. I've cooked up something that I think is going to be a mainstay collectible uh, snare drum. There's three different ones that you'll be able to pass it in through the family from generations to come. I'm very proud of what we've done here. What we did was I selected three iconic drummers. Neil Peart, of course. Come on. Neil's a great friend, but probably the most popular drummer in the business right now. Roger Taylor from Queen. What an iconic drummer. We've all still listened to those incredible songs and his sound and his drumming. And then my old friend Nick Mason from Pink Floyd. I've done snare drums to, to honor all of them. And the cool thing about these snares is that there is no paint. When Ryan, when you film this, remember what you're looking at is all inlaid wood, 100% inlaid wood. So we'll go through those drums and show you what the various different woods are in just a moment. But what I want to hip you to is there's a very cool underlying value to this whole project. The proceeds that would normally go to these gentlemen for lending their image and their, their legacy to these drums, they are donating those proceeds to the charity of their choice. So it's a win-win for everybody involved. We're making 250 each of these snares. You get a collectible, beautiful drum that, by the way, is tremendously playable. And we also donate to these very valuable and wonderful charities. So let's have a look. Here we have the queen. This is natural bird's eye maple. The lettering in the queen is made of paduk. The crest is made of dyed orange maple. And the Q in the middle is dyed red poplar. 
24 karat gold. Man, is that this, this one of my favorites. I don't know if I can pick a favorite. Then the time machine from Neil Peart. This is all Paduk wood here. It is black basswood, white poplar, dyed orange maple, natural maple, and around the lugs is a sprocket of walnut. I mean, it's just gorgeous. With copper hardware, Neil fell in love with this when I showed it to him. He said, of all the things you've done, John, for me, and I've played your instruments on stage, I'm taking this one home. So he got number one, as did Roger. And then we have the Dark Side of the Moon with Nick Mason. Okay, this one is dyed gray bird's eye. All the colored bands here are dyed basswood. The uh, center of the triangle is ebony. The outline of the triangle is dyed blue poplar. And then the beam of light coming in is natural maple. And it's got black nickel hardware. That's one of, I keep saying this, it's one of my favorites as well. I'm very proud of all three of these drums. So that's the Icon series. And if you look at all these gentlemen here, it's like you're looking at Mount Rushmore. That's how heavy these cats are. I love them for lending their talents and everything that they are to help us get this project out to you. And remember, there's only 250 each of these snares being produced. So that's what I got. And in a second, I think we're gonna turn this over to Rich Sikra. Rich Sikra is gonna show you probably the most innovative bass drum pedal that I've ever seen. I was with him as we painfully put this guy together day after day after day. He spent many long nights to make this pedal for you. And I know you're gonna love it. And so I'll give you over to Rich. Hi, I'm Rich Sikra. I'm here at the DW booth at the NAMM show. We have our new direct drive pedal. First time DW has done a direct drive pedal. So this one's all machined in-house at the DW factory in California. I'm gonna show you just a few of the features. This toe clamp system automatically adjusts so it can center on the drum no matter where you put it. If this is the center of the drum where my finger is, you can move it just about one inch either direction. This swiveling action allows it to line up the drum so the footboard will lay flat. It's really ideal with a double pedal if you want to center your beaters on the head. You can slide it over a little bit to the left or right. You don't have to worry about the pedal lifting up when you clamp it. So check that out. The spring adjustment, something that's always bothered drummers. Before this, you had to loosen a screw, pull the, chain, pull the spring down, tighten the nut, and reset it, kind of guess where you're at. Now you can just simply turn the drum key screw that's located on the front here. We have a gauge on the side, so as you're turning it, the gauge will go up and down to show you where, at, where you're at, so you can get the perfect tension. There's no locking nut, it just turns and it'll stay in, in position. I go to the front here, the fulcrum adjustment, kind of the pivoting point of the pedal, can be slid up and down by simply loosening the drum key here. There's also a gauge in there, so it shows you where you're at. All the way down is more like a chain pedal, all the way up is more like a direct drive pedal. Last thing here that I'll show you on the pedal, you make your adjustments for your, your pivoting angle for the beater. You make the adjustment for the um, fulcrum point that I showed you, and the footboard height adjustment is independent. Again, it has a gauge on it. So when you're adjusting the footboard, unlike most pedals, this will not affect the other adjustments. So check that out. The beater on this pedal, great design. It comes with three different heads. These heads just screw on or off. There's a, a spherical shaped felt, there's a flat felt piece, and a flat pla plastic version. These all come with it, as well as weights. There's four weights that you can put in here. They're all about one third of an ounce. Putting one weight in there to four weights makes a huge difference on this pedal. It's really critical to have that. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ruben, hardware engineer for DW Drums. I just want to introduce you the new concept accessories and concept hardware line. Um, what we came up with is the clamp here. We call it the quick grip clamp. It's the heart of our new accessory line, and it, it, it adds up to a whole modular system 
which you're gonna be able to discover on our website. I'm just gonna tell you, it's so much there. We have X hats, we have symbol holders, we have accessory holders, we even have microphone holders. We have our own new design for microphone holders, which solves a lot of problems. And then there's the whole line of new stands, which have tons of features for a very reasonable price. We added new footboards, it's all there. Look it up at dwdrums.com. So there's all kinds of great goodies this year. Thanks a whole lot, and I hope to see you again real soon.